Hackers have figured out that if they spam your end users with MFA prompts, they can trick your users into giving up your access to your Office 365 environment. They'll come in, they get the password from a hack site or from tricking the end users filling it out of the form, they get to your MFA prompt and they get blocked. What they're doing now is that they are just continuously blasting your end users till they agree, until they hit MFA fatigue and they just hit approve just to make the notifications go away. So how do we fix that? How do we stop that? Hi everybody, I'm Doug Baker uh, and this is Just Do The Basics, securing your Office 365 environment. I'm gonna show you how to enable reporting that your end users can hit deny, they can come in and then block that hacker from getting into your environment. So let's get into it. Let's show you what those options are. So here we are in Office 365 and the default from Microsoft is to not do anything when a end user hits deny on their MFA. What we need to do to fix that is we're going to come down into your, to security under a little known area of multi-factor authentication. This used to be this place where we would configure all the on-prem servers, but there is now a functional option for fraud alert. It's been here for a while, but not a lot of users know about it. So this fraud alert gives you the ability or gives your end users the ability when they hit deny on the screen, it will give them the secondary option of report fraud. Two options that we want to turn on in your environment are allow users to submit the fraud that will tell that will give them that secondary option and have it come to you. The second option is, well, if the end users are reporting fraud, should we just automatically block them from accessing Office 365? Lock out that hacker from that spam attempt? I think the answer to that is yes. This is something that you'll want to think through in your environment and look at maybe not quite yet, but most of my customers that I help with this, we turn this on for them because it's a great one. So this is that capability. This works for push notifications as well as phone calls. So if end users have configured phone MFA uh, and they they can hit the zero in this case, and they can uh, report that fraud in there. Now, when you set this up, you also want to go ahead and configure notifications in your environment. Notifications is going to be who should get the alert that someone submitted fraud. If you don't have a 24 by 7 SOC that's protecting your environment, I would always go with the automatically block. If you have a 24 by 7 that can look at it and help that end user reset their password, I would come in and uh, you know have this component in here. No matter what, you should have notifications turned on and have that component in here. Now, what happens when an end user is blocked in this manner? One of the big kind of issues with this is that you have to manually unblock them. They will not be unblocked until you as an admin come into this block and unblock area and grant them access. So if you have an end user that reports fraud, blocks the hacker from getting in, it's a huge win. Now, after you get that alert, and once you've remediated the issue, reset their password, you will need to come into this area and give them access or restore access to their environment. So that's often that's a great option to take advantage of. And I would highly recommend everybody go into their tenants and secure that. But what are the other options that we can do in Microsoft to help limit the alert fatigue, help end users know about those options? Well, new features that have come out recently from Microsoft under authentication methods and under your Microsoft Authenticator options, we got some really cool controls that we can do to help prevent that option, uh, as well as um, secure access uh, and give end users more notification, go information about is that fraud alert or is that MFA push coming from me or is it coming from Russia, China, uh, India, uh, the places that I'm not actually at. So in here under uh, this component in it, we can configure this and we can turn on two features that can really make a difference with MFA spam attempts. So the first one is uh, require number matching on the screen. So in this experience, what's going to happen is end user is going to get their push notification, but instead of just an approve or deny on their mobile device, they'll be showed uh, three options for filling out and submitting it. On the login screen, it'll have the number 36 or whatever. And then in the mobile app, they'll just need to push that number and it approves MFA. So that's option one. Second one is this show additional context. This one is a really nice one. And I think everybody should turn this on for their environment. This one comes in and gives the big pop-up of GPS or geolocation information, the app that's being accessed and all of that has there being spammed. And so this can really 
help end user identify, oh, maybe is that my phone? Is that my, my work machine just automatically trying to sign in and refresh itself? Or is it a hacker trying to come into my environment? I really love this with the fraud alert option. And this is a great way to secure your Office 365. This doesn't answer all of the questions that you have of you know securing remote access. And it's not maybe the perfect way, but this is a great easy way to step into your Office 365 and secure access uh, and block MFA fatigue and from being having your end users spammed with MFA. Hope this helps. Uh, and if you have more questions, feel free to reach out.